go. One, two, three, fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on. Hello, this is MakerJ101, and today we're going to be casting this flywheel. So I machined this on the, uh, or not really machined it, but I cut it out with the CNC router at Hack Pittsburgh. Um, and this is just out of some high-density green foam. Not really sure what type it is, but it's it's like a insulating styrofoam. And you can see it's pretty high density compared to this stuff. It's it's a lot, a lot harder, and a bit heavier. So hopefully it'll work. I'm not sure yet, but. I was originally going to try to do um, lost uh, lost wax method, sort of. So I would uh, basically uh, cast um, plaster around it and then melt, heat it up in a kiln and melt the uh, the wax out, or rather, this in this case, the styrofoam, burn the styrofoam out. But I decided not to do that. I'm just going to try pouring the aluminum in and see what happens. So I'm going to um, pack... Uh, green sand around it and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully hopefully it'll work, but it's going to be an experience to see how it works. Um, there's also a couple spots here where the uh, router messed up and also I melted it while I was putting a little bit of wax on. Um, so hopefully the wax melts away. I'm just kind of changing plans here a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to work very good with the green sand, but hopefully it'll the wax will melt and soak into the sand. Let's uh, make a sprue out of some other styrofoam. Glued that on there and uh, Yep, but you can see this was cut in two halves and then glued together. So I used Elmer's glue on it. I don't know if it was the best kind of glue, but that's what I used. And then I just uh, spread a little bit of wax around it um, because I was going to do the lost wax method. So, And as usual, we've got the handy dandy foam mix slicer, hot wire slicer. So uh, just uh, plug that in, train transformer. And uh, whoa, what is it? <coughs> it smokes awful. Don't breathe that. Oh, oops, wrong. Don't hook it up to the AC, you want to hook it up to the DC variable side. There we go, that's better. Okay, now we should be able to slice some foam with it. So basically what I'm just going to do is take down the end of this to the same diameter. Um, and then, actually that's a little, probably too large. So maybe I'll slice this off a bit, I don't know. Just kind of wing it, that's what I always do. Something straight, set, set over here, hold that there. And then run the foam along there to take some off. And we need more power. There we go, that's better. Okay, so here it is. I added some straws on here. I'm going to try this method again using the straws to let the gases out. So from the burnt styrofoam, all those gases need to escape. And hopefully these straws will let those gases escape. So we're going to try it again. I don't know. Before it didn't work, but I think my aluminum wasn't hot enough before. We'll try it again. So, uh, yep, that's my uh, mold. And then I'm going to use my frames for my uh, green sand, my homemade kitty litter green sand. So let's load that up with green sand. Yep, you can see it. Squish it together. Breaks pretty cleanly. And I have this little part here, maybe um, my thought is to collect any extra like sand and stuff that falls in there so when it melts down any, any junk or slag and stuff will hopefully settle down at the bottom there. I don't know, it's just kind of, I'm just kind of winging it. I don't have a clue what I'm doing guys. I just kind of wing it. Just like most of us. If you want to watch a professional, go uh, go watch my Ford boy. He does amazing casting videos. Try to make sure we fill up all the air pockets and things that are possible under there.
All right, so so far this is what I have. Um, so it's just uh, eight bricks, and uh, this is my forge. So I've got a steel pipe running underneath here. It's got a bunch of holes in it. it goes to that little blower there, and then there's a variac to control the motor speed. And lucky for me, I have a pretty good supply of coal because there used to be an old coal mine over there. And uh, these are kind of like the tailing piles, and I don't know why there's coal here. Maybe there was just kind of a just a storage pile here or something. I can just kind of pick it up off the ground sort through it, make sure there's not too many rocks in there, and it's nice small stuff here. Which will work good. It's pretty easy to collect. I've got some coal here I just got out of the woods, so there's uh, coal tailing piles behind my house. Ah yes, it's finally starting to melt. I was getting worried because the crucible is just starting to glow and this is just a propane tank. So if you get it too hot, it's gonna burn right through. So I think we're good now. That is very good. Very, very good. Ah. Hot ingot's running away. Come on, you little ingot. I think I'll put this last ingot in. Last ingot that I brought out there at least. All right, so we're gonna wait till this aluminum gets nice and hot because that's a lot of styrofoam in there and I just want to make sure it melts all out. And I think one of the keys to getting lost foam methods work is getting the aluminum hot enough. So I want to get it to a nice glow, but not hot enough where it's going to melt the crucible. So there's a fine line there, and I'm not not sure how hot to really get it. So hopefully it's going to work, though. You can see it's nice, nice color there. It's starting to get a little bit orange, so we're almost ready there. Got the mold over here, so that's good. Yep, I think we're good. Don't want to get any hotter. All right, fast pour. That's what we're gonna try and do here. Here we go. One, two, three. Fingers crossed. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Got to keep it hot on top. All right, I think I think it might actually work. Well, the crucible held up okay. That's good. <coughs> I smell burnt styrofoam, and the straw. Oh, the straws all melted off. That might be a good sign here. Let's give you a shot of the fire here too. Look at that, that is white hot in there. Wicked. Wow, that is really hot. I should forge some knives today. 
Well, not right now though. I'm too busy with this. Should get that aluminum away from there before it burns. Uh, eh, it's just cheap wood. But look at that, the straw's all melted out and there's aluminum right there. That's awesome, I think it might have worked. This one's melted too. Yep, there's aluminum there. Oh, there's aluminum there. And this one got melted off by the, the lava overflow there. <laughs> aluminum overflow. Hi kitty. <laughs> She's like, what's that horrible smell? Burnt sterile. There's some uh, nasties on top there. That's just, that looks like black stuff from the fire. Whatever. I shouldn't play around with that, I should just let it go. Let's get this. It's still kind of like soft. Put the fire out. Alright. Looking good. Oh, I should turn this off. Wow, that's white hot in there. Yeah, I should forge some knives. All right, well now it's time to find out whether this is a success or whether it's just another learning experience. So, I can't fail. So let's see. Pretty hot. I mean, it looks pretty perfect so far. I really like how well the coal works too, the melted aluminum. Although the crucibles are not going to last very long. Maybe one or two pours. Oh, there's one of the uh, straws. Wow, that's really weird. Let's just break those off. Might have been 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Just a little over boiling point, really. It's got some heft to it, that's good. Boy, it's really prickly though. Well, there it is. I think it looks perfect. I mean, the surface finish is terrible, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to turn it on the lathe. Now in here, I'm going to have to work on it with a file, I guess, a bit to get some of those bumps out. But I think what I probably what happened is I just didn't pack the sand enough. So, although still on the top even, it's like that. So maybe my sand is just too coarse. That might be what it is. So maybe if I got finer sand, that would, that would improve it a lot, I'm sure but, I mean, there's no voids in it. Even the spots where, I don't even know where the wax was. The wax, I put that on the bottom, but it looks like the wax got uh, melted. Maybe there? I don't know. It looks perfect though. I don't see any problems with it at all. I must have not packed that spot right there. There's a little bulge kind of interesting. But the one straw, it must have kinked or it wasn't attached or something. Because it didn't get cast. Only three did. So. But it looks excellent. I'm very happy with that. I didn't think it was going to turn out so well. Well, now to take it to Hack Pittsburgh, turn it on the lathe and get it real nice. 
All right, so I'm at Hack Pittsburgh now. I just cut the uh, um, the sprue off, and then I um, was sanding it on the belt sander a little bit just to clean some of the sand and junk off of it so that I don't have to chop all that off with the lathe. Um, you can actually see right here, I don't know what's going on there, but it's kind of interesting. It's like the surface is peeling off of it. So I almost wonder if what happened was it uh, cooled, it started cooling, and so the metal contracted, and then more metal poured down around it or something like that. Either that or it's like an oxide layer, but it looks a little bit kind of bad underneath there, so hopefully it's not too bad. We'll, we'll see. Um, but I also cleaned up the insides here with a little bit with a hand file just to make a good place where I can grip it because the, uh, the lathe chuck is not real big. So, um, And I don't, I was looking around here for some more um, teeth or jaws for it that can flip on the other, flip the other side, but um, I, there's none. So I have to use it like this and just grip it in the, uh, with these parts here, which will be okay. I'm just a little bit leery about that because this one here is chipped. But, uh, yeah, so, you can see right there, it's not, not looking so happy. But, a little bit of abuse. But that's okay. So yeah, this is an old Atlas. I don't know what year it is, but it is old and is worn out. But, it's better than no lathe, so, that's the nice thing. So, yeah, it works. That's, that's the nice thing. So, yep, let's uh, start turning it up and see how it turns out. Stay down. 